guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve simultaneous equations when one of the equations is a quadratic and the other one is a linear equation. So in order to do this, we need to substitute that second equation, the linear one, into the quadratic equation above. So fortunately, our second equation is already organised to say y equals, which is great. It should either say y equals or x equals to start with, and then we can substitute this part into the equation here. Because remember, x minus 7 is just the same as y. So we can change that value of y to x minus 7, so that we only have an equation with x as the unknown, and then we can solve to find x. So let's do that. So I'm going to just write substitute, so sub, equation 2 into equation 1. Okay, so we're substituting the linear equation into the quadratic. So I'm going to write out that top equation again. So I've got x squared plus, but instead of the y, I'm going to switch that in with x minus 7. So I've got x minus 7, not forgetting the squared up here, equals 25. Okay, so now I have an equation which only has x as the unknown, which is great. So I can solve this now to find x. So I'm just going to work out what this comes to. So I'm going to expand those brackets. So x minus 7 all squared, remember that's just the same as saying x minus 7 times x minus 7. So if you expand those brackets, you should get this. Okay, if you're not sure about expanding brackets, then that's something that you should practice. Okay, now I'm going to move all the terms onto one side of the equation so that it says equals zero. So I need to move that 25 over to the left so it changes to a negative. And at the same time, I'm going to tidy everything else up. So I've got 1x squared plus 1x squared, which is 2x squared. This doesn't change because it's the only x term. And then I've got positive 49 minus 25, which is 24, not forgetting equals zero. So instead of just solving this straight away, I can just simplify this a little bit more because all of these numbers here are even. So I'm going to divide everything in this equation by two. So if I divide this by two, I'm left with x squared. If I divide this by 2, I get negative 7x, and here I get 12. So it's up to you how you solve your quadratic equation. You could use the quadratic formula if you like using the quadratic formula, or you can actually factorise this one. This one's not too difficult, so I'm just going to go ahead and factorise this. So I'm going to pop those x values in there because x times x gives me x squared. Now remember, these two numbers multiply to give positive 12 and they add to give negative 7. So they must be negative 3 and negative 4 because minus 3 times minus 4 gives me positive 12 and minus 3x minus 4x simplifies to give negative 7x. So we factorise. Now we can find our values of x. Remember... The first solution of x is just this number, but the opposite sign, so positive 3, which makes sense because then 3 minus 3 would give this bracket as being 0. So we've got x equals 3, or the other value, so when this bracket is equal to 0, x would be positive 4. So this number again, but the opposite sign. So if you're not very good at solving quadratics by factorising, I do have another video, so you can have a little look at that there. But for this question, I'll just assume that you know how to do that. So we've got our two values of x, but remember, when you're solving simultaneous equations, you have to find both the value of x and the value of y. So we need to do that as well. So I'm going to do it on the left-hand side here for when x is 3, and then afterwards for when x is 4. Because remember, to find the value of y, well, y is equal to the x value minus 7. So I'm just going to write that linear equation out again at the top, okay, for both of them. So in this one, x is 3, so I'm going to change x to 3. So to work out y, you must do 3 minus 7, which is negative 4. But on this side, we need to change the x value to 4. So it would be 4 minus 7, which is negative 3. So you can see we've got two solutions. We've got this one when x is 3 and y is negative 4. 
And this one over here, when x is 4 and y is negative 3. So remember what these are. These are just coordinates of where this quadratic, so this curved graph, crosses this straight line, this linear. So they cross in two places at those coordinates there. So there's solving simultaneous equations when you've got one quadratic and one linear. Remember to always organise this one into y equals or x equals and then substitute that linear equation into the quadratic so you can solve and find your first letter before then at the end substituting those values back into the linear equation to find the other unknown. So I hope you understand now solving simultaneous equations. Remember, to get a bit better at these questions, it would be beneficial to practice multiplying out brackets and also solving quadratic equations. So that's all for now and bye-bye for me.